Hey, what's up, you guys? Happy Friday. Um, I wanted to record this for you guys real quick. No camera on this one. Um, just wanted to not distract you guys. Just get right into this right away. Um, so basically for this clay table, I want to show you guys how you guys can personalize um, local outreach at scale. Um, so if you're targeting any sort of any sort of local business, any sort of business that is not like a SaaS company, not a company that is all digital, no marketing agency, um, no digital SaaS companies, nothing like that. Like actual companies that are, you know, do do face to face time, do a lot of, um, you know, obviously like very local companies, companies that have physical locations. I wanted to show you guys a really cool strategy that you could use to essentially personalize your outbound at scale um, using AI and using clay.com. So for a little bit of context, um, this campaign is directly targeting lawyers. So any sort of law firm attorneys things like that this campaign um just around 500 leads but these are kind of like the icp for the for this campaign um obviously the first step that i always do is to normalize the company name when i send emails um when the sdrs are doing you know their cold calling their warm calling and when they are reaching out directly on linkedin we don't want to say we don't want to say like hey um, i noticed silver injury law comma inc or, hey, I noticed blah, 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 comma, LLC. That looks very unprofessional. And then this as well, um, if it's fully uppercase. Um, I have a theory that these companies do that on purpose on LinkedIn. And I'm sure you guys might do this as well um, if you have, you're have you running a very successful company or even if you're on Twitter or LinkedIn. You put some sort of like letter or you put some sort of like distinction inside of the company name or your first name so you can kind of tell if people are automating outbound. Um, and you can kind of like if somebody sends you a message and they're like, hey, C, but your name is Cody, um, but your Twitter name and your LinkedIn name is like C and then maybe your last name or C, Cody Carnes, whatever it is. Um, you obviously can tell like, look, you guys look very silly because I can tell that you automated this. Um, what they aren't using is clay.com. So you can very easily do this inside of clay. Um, I've showed you guys this basically in every tutorial, but real quick. Wherever your company name column is, go to insert right, click add column, and then very simply just click normalize. Put in the word normalize. From there, just go to normalize company name, um, normalize case right here, then make sure you click the right column. And then just click continue to add fields. I've already done it. Um, but continue to add fields. And then from there, this is the output that you get. Now, what looks better? Um, hey, so I was looking at Brooks Law LLC. I was looking at so Silva Injury Law comma ink period you know i think this looks 10 times better um and this is the fully finished company name that is fully normalized as well um so what i usually do is whenever you have this column right here um, if you import this column directly into smart lead it's going to show the check mark unfortunately um i don't know why clay hasn't fixed this yet but i don't know whenever you do this you actually just need to click inside of this column click inside of each row, sorry, and then just put this as the output. You're gonna say add column. I've already done that right here. Add column and then it gets rid of the check mark because if you add this column directly as a placeholder inside of SmartLead, it's gonna have the check mark for every single email. When I first started using Clay, unfortunately, I was not aware that this converted over to SmartLead like that. So I sent probably like seven or 800 emails and they all had this check mark in the um, subject line. So it was very, very unfortunate. And I don't think people were super happy. I think that got a lot of spam and a lot of, you know, bad negative reviews, bad negative feedback. So I always do that. Hopefully you guys can follow along with that. Didn't spend too much on it. Um, here are the rest of the information that you really need. In terms of doing this specific personalization, which I can show you in two seconds, you really need the city and state. I'm assuming all of you guys are going to be in the U.S. Maybe, you know, you guys, we got a couple Canadians. We got a couple, you know, British people, Australia. You really need the city and state, uh, I guess just the city. If you're in, don't have states in your country, um, you're definitely going to need the city, preferably the country as well. And then potentially the company description as well. For this specific campaign, we wanted to mention what exact type of law this firm was specialized in. Now, I don't know much about law firms or attorneys, but I do know that personal injury lawyers and personal injury cases are like a thousand times more lucrative than any other ones. I'm sure that's subject to change and it's nuanced to so many different things. Um, 
but we could also score the leads based off of if they have these keywords and we could filter it just with these keywords and send like more personalized outreach to these company uh, to these companies that have and specialize in personal injury. Um, but either way, how I did that is I needed the company description. And then I basically said like, look, hey, I want you to look at the company description. Tell me which type of law this company specializes in. Make it three words or less, no commas. Um, and then you have to really train the AI. You have to really train it and put really correct prompts. And this is exactly what I did. Um, you guys can just pause the video, um, but here's exactly what it did. And then I gave it a couple examples so it can be trained to the max. Um, so it doesn't make any errors at all. Cause we're mentioning this in the email um, and we don't, we don't want to mess this up. And the second part, I think you guys are definitely going to like this the best. Um, you're actually leveraging Yelp. So basically what we did is we mentioned this inside of the email. We mentioned that they did this specific type of law based off of their company description and then their website and then their company name as well. The second bit of personalization um, is actually finding their direct competitors, right? So what I did is I essentially, Clay has a direct integration with Yelp and what it could do, I can actually show you guys real quick. So basically what Clay can do is, so it has, like I said, it has a direct integration with Yelp and what it can do is it can automatically put in the city and state based off of what is in the row right here, what is in each row and essentially put that in this um, little section right here. So let's say, for example, you know, this company, this firm is in Baltimore, Maryland. It can actually automatically put Baltimore, Maryland in that box right there. And then for this one, it could actually put in the exact type of law that they're specialized in. So it can put in employment law right here, and it can do this automatically for thousands and thousands of leads um, and it does this within, you know, around 15 to 20 seconds. And then from there, the search query, you're essentially just putting like, you, you can choose whatever you want, but you can put in the type of law that they're specialized in. You can put in whatever type of input you want to get your desired output. For me specifically, I wanted to find the direct competitors, um, the direct law firms that are in their city that also rank for, you know, these specific keywords. So if you type in, if you use this one lead example, um, you're gonna type in these and what it's essentially gonna do is the output that you're gonna be able to scrape automatically is the company names of all of these competitors that aren't, you know, this company right here, right? Because we don't wanna say, hey, you know, I saw that your competitor was Brooks Law when that's the company that we're reaching out to. So you can very easily do that with Clay inside of this Yelp integration. Um, and in terms of actually making this real, it's very, very easy. Just go to businesses and then you can just make this happen right here. So just click all these five and then you can go into these separately and then just click title, add to column. And then what I put is just, I, I named it competitor number one. And then for this as well, it gets a little bit complicated in terms of like visualizing it. But right here, I did not want me to say like, you know, any, any, any mess ups with the company name doesn't seem like there's many, but I just normalized the company name pretty quickly. Didn't cost any credits. Um, so yeah, basically in the email, I'm saying they're actually so far, all the data that we have so far inside of Clay, um, and we've only used one column of credits is we're seeing like, hey, this company specialized in this type of law. And then these are, you know, three to five competitors that are also kind of ranking and also kind of compete with the main company that we're going after for patent attorney in you know, College Station, Texas, or they're in Denver, Colorado, and they are competing for that estate lawyer um, search term inside of Google, inside of Yelp, because um, the, the service that we're offering for this ex example is PPC and SEO. So it's very, very important that we got this information because we can actually mention their direct competitors inside of the email, inside of, you know, the cold calling script, inside of the LinkedIn messaging, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then as well, if I keep scrolling, um, basically what we came to the conclusion of is, hey, we're mentioning the type of cases that they're specialized in as well. Um, so I can very easily just turn this right here um, and basically use Clay Gent or use probably just the open AI key. So yeah, that's basically it for this video. Um, like I said, hopefully this was kind of helpful. Um, very raw video. Um, I think I came up with this video idea probably 15 minutes ago and then just started recording right away. Um, but yeah, hopefully this is this is useful to you guys. Quick summary, again, showing you guys exactly what I did and why I did it. Um, like I said, these are a ton of law firms. I basically fixed the, fixed up the company name 
and then found out what type of law that they're specialized in based off of the company description. And then based off of the type of law that they're specialized in, I basically put this column inside of Yelp. Basically think of me doing that, think of me doing that 589 times and then separately copying and pasting every single competitor or company name and putting it in these columns and then fixing the company name so I can make sure that, you know, I'm putting this in the actual email, this in the actual email, et cetera, et cetera. And then doing that five times, times 589 um, different contacts. And then at the end, um, we're basically mentioning, mentioning the type of cases um, as well. So that's very, very similar to the type of law, but I just put cases at the end because we're going to be helping them get more family law cases, criminal defense cases, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so yeah, hopefully this was useful to you guys. Um, again, did not really think this through, just hit record right away. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know.